everybody. We are currently in Havar. We got the ferry here this morning from Split. We're gonna be here for the next four or five days. The sky, I don't know if you can see, it's not looking so good right now. Tired? Bit. You want a coffee? Yeah. Wanna go in the sea? Yeah. Let's go in the sea. done we've gone home got a shower and walked into Havar so we're just by the the like the sea basically walking into town Havar so far I mean we haven't really seen much of it but it's really really pretty it's my favorite place so far so far yes from yeah. the distance uh, and a few streets we walked it it's very yeah, nice it's beautiful yeah let's do some exploring <laughs> so bright <laughs> exploring Havar the island rather than just Havar the town. Currently in a little bay called, I think it's Dubovica. Yes. Dubovica. We have got here by our quad bike that we have rented out for the day, which is quite fun. So yeah, we've rented a quad bike. We've got kind of a route to follow that they recommended us to go through some towns, some scenic places. Havar is also very famous for lavender fields. I think we might be a bit late in the season, but we will actually see kind of Havar as an island rather than just see the city that we're staying in, which is obviously very pretty, but it's nice to see the rest of it too. Do you have anything to add? Nah. Nah. Just packed up our quad bike and we are in Dari Grand. Mm -hmm. It's probably not how you pronounce it. It's on like the other side of Havar Island to Havar Town. I think we'll find a cute place here for some lunch. It's very cute, very Italian style architecture. It's very pretty. Jelsa. There is a map here so I can show you 
kind of the route we've taken. This is of our town. The, the whole island is of our island. Of our town is where we're staying. Yeah. We went to Dubovica, the mm -hmm. beach. Then we went up uh, Starigrad before, and now Jelsa. We returned our quad bike and got home, got showered. We look quite different now, I think. We're just gonna go out for dinner to a Konoba. Interesting thing, if you're coming to Croatia and you wanna eat very homely, sort of traditional Croatian food, try and find Konobas because they're like that style of restaurant. They're all sort of family run, bigger portions, typically Croatian cuisine, that kind of thing. So we've been eating at a lot of Konobas while we've been here. That's kind of it for now. Yeah, that's all. See you later. Ha <laughs> ha